Hi everyone. Um, so today was literally one of those days where um, it sort of started off okay and promising and it was great because the weather was like grey and you know which was nice to cool everything down after such a long time of just like heat 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 anyway. I thought it was off for a good start. I was feeling inspired to write. Um, but then, as soon as I left the house, it just seemed like everything just seemed to sort of cave in uh, into each other, which was a little disheartening. And uh, I suppose it got a little emotional as well. But, um, yeah. So, I just wanted to share sort of the whole thing that I usually go through or sort of helps me center myself a little bit, whether it's during the ordeal or after the ordeal, which is um, looking at everything caving in at the time and like when everything, you know, that could go wrong is going wrong. Um, I usually tend to take that as a sign that the universe is trying to tell me something and it's sort of a cause for inward reflection just to take a moment and look at what's happening inside of you and around you and how what's happening inside of you may necessarily be impacting on what's happening around you um what sort of energy that you're giving out to the world and how that energy is being reflected back to you and so with today, I literally, I came back, I even made a, an Instagram and Facebook post of this. And I was like, okay, universe, you have my attention. You have humbled me. Um, literally being stranded, waiting for an Uber, battery dying, no other um, means of transportation to get back home. Uh, skies are dark it's about to stop pouring (laughs) what to do um but i guess in that moment all i had to do was just be resourceful and i think i had to take a step back and be like okay let's stop being a spoiled brat um especially having reached out to people that i did but weren't necessarily able to help i had to then help myself which i did um I i wasn't necessarily like in a position where i couldn't do anything And I started looking around me and I started looking at people and how they were going about their lives um, with minimal to no um, options or resources, people they could call, uh, monetary resources or just, you know, a network that they could tap into and they were making it work. And so it made me sort of um, dig deep and go back to what it is that I would do um, if I did not have um, the access to the resources that make my life that much easier than most people. And so that's when I sort of pulled myself towards myself, collected myself, um, sort of gave myself a little wagging of the finger and told uh, Ziggy Swear to stop being a sport brat. And that I was not helpless and that I am able to take care of myself. And just because things have been a bit easy lately, um, it had made me forget that I'm a resourceful person. And I'm able to make a situation work with um, hardly anything. And that's what I did. I got myself up. I left the mall, I walked across the road, and I hailed a taxi. Not an Uber, not a meter taxi, a taxi that is like a Toyota, whatever. And with like, you know, 15 other passengers in there with me, didn't know how to do it, to go home, in this specific instance, um... But I was like, fuck it. I mean, what else am I going to do? I'm not just going to sit here um, with no other way of getting home. So I did that. Managed to save myself a bit of cash as well. Because it's like, what, 12 bucks? As opposed to like like the 60, 70 bucks I would have paid. Which is sort of besides the point. Um, But essentially, anyway. The point of this post is to say 
that if you find yourself in a situation where things are not going as easy as they would normally go, it's essential and I think it's important for you to look within yourself and ask yourself, is everything really falling apart or is it falling apart or does it feel like it's falling apart just because it's not coming as easy as it usually does? What is it that I'm able to do in this situation? How do other people navigate the situation? Um, there are people every day who are not able to get an Uber. There are people every day who are not able to get a flight to their next meeting. There are people every day who are who don't even have groceries in their house, right? So just because you've run out of your, what, I don't know, croissants, you know, does it mean you're not going to eat breakfast? No, you can buy bread. It's fine. You'll be okay, right? The fact that you have to walk, you know, a couple of meters more than you would have to if you had an Uber drop you at your doorstep, is it going to kill you? No, you'll be okay. So just be grateful for the fact that you actually, you know, have a home to go home to um, where other people don't. Be grateful for the fact that you have the option to choose croissants over bread. Um, be grateful for the fact that you have a network of people that when you're in trouble would be willing to try and help resolve your situation where others don't have that network. Um, be grateful that you can even come home and post a whiny video like I am right now uh, and say, well, my day was a little bit harder whether people don't have a phone or internet or Wi-Fi, you know. So, yeah, stop being a whino. That's what I got out of this today and I'm taking a step back and I realize there's been certain things that I've been taking for granted, people for granted, but also the comforts that I have and the access to a pretty cool, good life and people that are around me who are willing to assist and help where they can and that... I do have a soft place to fall. So that's my post. As you can hear, my voice is sort of breaking a little there. But it's, yeah, this was an emotional moment. But I'm um, dealing with it with um, Wi-Fi and a glass of vino. Okay.